I think that Ryan Reynolds, Kate thinks he hates, he's like, Kate thinks he's super frenemy with me, or even just that he hates me. I, I could see him hating me. <laughs> but I said, I said on Hot Ones, I went on Hot Ones, and I said that, um, you know, what was great about Deadpool is they covered up his handsome face because he's so distracting. He he must know this, but it's so distracting to look at him and guys don't want to laugh at him because he looks like the guy that fucked your high school girlfriend. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then girls don't really want to laugh at him. They just think he's cute. So they'll just look at him like Ryan Gosling. Girls mm-hmm. don't care if he... Um, is talking or acting accurate yeah so exactly number- so i think but he's such a good comedian that when you cover his face he's so quick he's so funny so i love him as a comedian but i think after he got super super famous from the first deadpool then he yeah things kind of change i think he was like see you guys see and then i think he i don't know i mean would i work with him again no, no, I would not work with him that again. much uh, vitriol. But I've said that about Michael Bay, and now we're friends, and I would work with him again. But I think Michael Bay is different. And Michael Bay worked on a movie with Ryan Reynolds also. And so he has a very specific opinion. <laughs> That made me of your Ryan own. Reynolds, and so, and that was a good part of our last conversation with me and Bay. But I, 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 I sort of wish him well because he's so good as at Deadpool, and I think it's weird that he hates me. And well, I how think, do you and know? I think some do people you, are, do you know he hates. We you? had a really weird moment, really weird moment on Deadpool where he said, "Let's do one more take." And everyone was like, okay. And I was like, yeah, I'm fine. And then as the character, he was like horrifically mean to me. But to me. Cathartic. As if, <laughs> as if I'm Weasel. Right. Mm-hmm. So he was like, you know what's great about you, Weasel? You're not the star. But you just, you know, you do just enough exposition that it's funny. And then we can leave and get back to the real movie. So he's movie. riffing. Well, he's here. right. Obviously. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Yeah, that's exactly why he said that. How much riffing? Because I'm not funnier than he is at all. Right? How much and ri- I haven't been in more movies than him. Yeah, Don't exactly. agitate the guest, Brian. How much riffing was done? A lot. And, and how- he's a great improviser. And how you know much I mean? of it and made the cut? A lot of it. And then the stuff that they kept and you see in the, the, the reel, it's a lot of it is what he's doing. I'm riffing. Also, the two uh, the writers were so incredible. Um, but that's what's weird about him. And I've, I've met other people that can confirm this. He did that, and it was weird. And it doesn't bother me. I mean, just like uh, Ryan. Is it Ryan or Brian? Me. Yeah. Brian. Okay. Yeah. I always forget. <laughs> Um, he's, he's, and he's so very he's forgettable. forgettable. Um, yeah. Understandable. And so, um, you know, as Ryan was saying, <laughs> son of a bitch. So, uh, you know, it, but what went it, it south sort of, in that it, it sort moment? Of ended, Did you react to it? I just kind of listened and thought it was weird, and then I got off stage because then they finally were like cut, and then I got off stage and I walked over, and the whole crew was acting weird. And then I went up to Kate and I was like, "That was weird, right?" And she was like, "Of course it was fucking weird. It was insane." <laughs> It was insane. And everybody was looking at each other like, what the fuck is he doing? And so that was not a great experience for me. And a couple of people, you know, I, for the most part, when I do a film or on a television set, the crew really enjoys me because I'm nice to everybody and I'm also funny. And after a take, everybody starts laughing once they cut. And I sort of laugh and enjoy and talk to everybody. And I'm just not sure every you know movie star does that. But and how how do you how was that a breaking point for your relationship? Because why would he do that? And why right, do I want to work knows with he somebody? Did it, but did you call him out, or did you have a no, discussion? No. What would with him? be the use of that? And and it would be so easy to deny. Like I don't know. I'm just trying something new. We're I'm acting. not. I'm not talking. Yeah, that's why he did it like that. But right. you felt it coming from everybody. Him. Did that's why it was awkward. Everybody mm-hmm. was like, "Why is Ryan doing this?" And the other weird thing is like. Maybe he got, you know, I think he's kind of an insecure dude. He's really nice, but I mean, his Twitter bio is, um, his Twitter bio is showing you the parts of me that focus tested the best in focus groups. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I'm not sure that he's joking. (laughs) I think that might actually be his real sentiment there. 
Um, but again, he's so funny and he did this movie and he's worked so hard to get this movie made and it's people's favorite movie. I mean, it's a get a tattoo of it level it's, movie. It's really funny. I mean, it's, it's got a, a lot of great stuff, but it's that stuff with you and he in the bar. Just it's just right. the best, I and mean, I, it's some I, of the funniest stuff ever filmed. Yeah, and so I think that maybe there was some part of him that that frustrated him. I I can't begin to guess what his deal is. That you were getting as many, maybe more accolades from. Yeah, the movie. I think there's some of that, which doesn't make any sense to me because I love when other people get laughs. You know, I think it's great when the two of you get laughs. No one else really. On the show well, does, really <laughs> but yeah, Ryan doesn't. you know, Ryan never does. And yeah, crying Ryan. Ryan, that's what they but used to does call him. Know, would you think that he would know there was a riff with you guys? I think so. Or he's so deluded that he's like, um, or he's so deluded that he's like, uh, you know, everybody loves me. Everybody likes me. So TJ probably just wishes that he could work with me again. Bay's like that too, though. Wahlberg talked to me about that, who like Bay would never understand why you wouldn't want to work with him. Yeah. It just wouldn't make sense. Everybody wants to work with him. And that's also kind of true. So I think some people aren't totally self-aware, but I wouldn't, you know, I other places have been like, are you in Deadpool three? What's the deal? Can you talk about it? And it's like, I would not have done Deadpool 3 if they came to me and they were like, we want you to do Deadpool 3 and we're going to pay just you twice over, as much. Over that one incident? It just, it's that. There's that certainly component. But really the real reason, the same reason I left Silicon Valley, which is I don't really think you should do something for more than five years. I mm -hmm. think it's weird to just go back and play Weasel at like... Yeah. 10 years later so or something Morgan like that. He's been doing Avatar for 14 years. I know, exactly. Here we go, Ryan, Imagine, again with these Avatar references. Yikes. Can we well, get another Avatar for you? 